Hey what's up, in this video I will show you how to create stunning and awesome profile pictures like this. You can use these profile pictures on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube and even platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. Trust you want to look cheap in those platforms as well. You must have seen this kind of colorful pictures in so many social media handles. For example, with Smith Instagram page, this profile picture has these white lines around his body and also across the cycle. You might not see the cycle image, but it is visible when you are on dark mode. This picture looks cool and you can do a lot with these pictures and also change the background to gradient colors like the ones you can see on the screen. For this video, we'll be using Canva. Canva is an online tool that comes with both free plan and the paid plan. But it is the best design tool out there and it is very easy to get started as there are tons of templates you can just edit to your taste. So let's get started with the video. Most social media handles, if not all, requires you to upload a square profile picture. So we'll be creating a square image. You can either choose the logo template. The logo template is a 500 by 500 pixel image. Or you can go for a higher picture like the Instagram post, which is usually 1080 by 1080. And I think this is even better. So if you can't find the Instagram post on your own page, all you just have to do is you can just go over to create a design up here, then enter 1080 by 1080 and click create new design. Okay, you can as well search for Instagram post here as well. All you just have to do is search for Instagram. We can see this is Instagram post 1080 by 1080 pixel that we can use to get to the dashboard. So we'll just create a design. So let's create a blank design. So whichever way you prefer to get to the to this dashboard here, you can use that as well. So when you're on the dashboard, the first thing we want to do is to add a background. So we're having a white background here. We want to have that um, Will Smith Instagram page, for example, we have to have a white background. So we're adding a yellow background. So just click on the image. You click on the image, you go to colors, and let's pick yellow as our color. So we have a yellow background. So the next thing we want to do is to upload our image. So I'll go to upload. And when you get to upload, you just upload your image here. I already have my image uploaded, so I'll just click on it. So this is your image. You open it. And if you are using the Canva Pro, there's a feature for image. When you go to edit image, you can see background remover here. So you can remove the background. I tried registering for the Canva Pro, but I don't know. It's not accepting my card. So this is the background remover here. You can just remove the background. And if you are not using the Canva Pro, there's a free tool you can use to remove your backgrounds. So all you just have to do is go to this website called remove.bg. So you go to remove.bg. When you get to this website, you upload your image and the background will be removed for you. So you can download your, your image when the background has been removed. And if you want a higher resolution HD, you have to pay for the service. But I think this is also okay. So this is my image that I've been also I've also uploaded it so just come here and upload your email after downloading it from this website so I'll just bring that here right now so here's my image having this yellow background so I can adjust it wherever I like so what I want to do right now is to edit this image so I'll go to edit image so we have to scroll down to you see something to so get to the shadow area I think this is the shadows area so once you add a glue so what I just want to literally do is to add this white glue around Will Smith edges. So if you want that glue also, you also just have to do is to come to this place and click on glue. So you click on glue and you click on it again just to edit the glue the way you want. What you want to do is to remove the blue. Then you change the black to white. So you Increase the transparency all the way up to 100%. And you can just increase the size to about 10. I think 10 is okay. So we click on apply. So this is our glue. We can increase the size. We 
just have to adjust it to your taste. I think it's okay this way. Now let me reduce it a little bit. So we have to be very careful with the upper part because of when most uh, social media handles, they have to they like using cropping your image in a, in a cycle. So you have to be watchful of this upper part here so that your head won't be cut off when you upload this on your uh, your social media handles. So most social media pages they like using you have this cycled image. This parts will be cropped off. So you already having a nice looking image already. If you want more functionality, maybe you want to add like this with me. There's a white oh, white cycle around this image already. There's a because if I'm if you're on dark team, if you're on dark uh, mode, you'll be able to see this white line in here. So that's what I want to add now in this post. So we'll go back to our design and if you want to add that as well. You can just come to this place and look for search for a cycle. Let me search for a cycle and I'll use the cycle here. So here's the cycle, just have to make sure it fits into the canva. So I'll just change the color to white. And I think that looks good already. So this way, I think this looks good. So this way you already have your image already. So you can Upload this your image to and this white background should be removed when you upload your image. So you can just come here to download your images. You can download PNG format and click on download. That downloads your image. So when you upload this to your social media handle, this part will be removed. But if you want to remove this part yourself, then you have to put all of these images in a frame. As if you are using Canva Pro, then you have to do something here you, you have to when you are downloading your image you have to set transparent background you can see it's only available for pro users so you have to make sure you set transparent backgrounds put all of this in a frame set it to transparent background and download so that will cut off this part and if you also want to cut it off you can use some other free tools this website is cropcycle.imageonline.school all every link to every website mentioned in this uh, video i'll place the link to those websites in the description below so just to this website, cropcycleimageonline.co. So what you just want to do is you upload your image. So you just have to make sure the website fits into the box. So that's just it. Then you crop the image. So you have this image cropped for you. So you can download your cropped image right here. So there are a lot of things you can do with this design. Instead of just having a play background, Instead of just having a play background, you can change the backgrounds to gradient. You can find gradient colors here. You can find colors, maybe you can find images like gradient colors, and you can see the ones I've used in the past. So you can use this as the background. All you just have to do is do send to back. So instead of having just a plain image, so you can have a background, you can pick from the background here. And if you have some, maybe you have a, you have your own personal brand color that you want to stick to. So you can go to a website, I recommend other websites you can go to to download images, gradient images like this. One of those websites is UI Gradient. UI, I think UIGradients.com. You can look for other colors. You just have to search for your, I can show all gradients. So if you have a color in mind, maybe your own, you have a brand color you want to stick to, you can come to this website to look for gradients you can use on your website. For example, this is my channel. I stick to purple. I can just look for any purple images. I think this is okay. So I'll just go ahead to what? To download this image. So you just click on this get JPEG and you can download the image. So that is the way you can get gradient image if you have colors to stick to and you can use this in your designs. And you can also go to this other website. This other website to download your image. This has like three different. This website has like three different colors you can pick from. So you can pick from three different colors for your designs. You can pick from three different colors. So this website also is great. You can use the website. You can download the images and put them in your Canva. I already have some I've downloaded and I've uploaded here. Let me go to. So you can see some of the pictures I've got. So I can decide to remove the background. And put this. Maybe I have to remove this other background. 
so you can have that nice looking image so you can do a lot so this is just how to create a cool looking profile picture i think this kind of image looks good i'll use it on my on my youtube channel as well and on my other social media do try to follow me this my links to my social media are placed in the description below you can follow me on instagram tiktok and other platforms like that so that'll be all for this video i hope you find this video helpful please if you find the video helpful i'd like you to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel my name is victor smith and i'll catch you in the next one